Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is David and today I'm gonna help you guys break and debunk a rule that a lot of people will tell you Don't break this. Don't break that. You can't do this. You can't do that. It's gonna be the 180 degree shutter rule. I'm gonna help you guys decipher what it looks like and what it's gonna look like if you break it the right way and what it's gonna look like if you break it the wrong way and just all the ways to just mess with it. If you aren't familiar with the 180 degree shutter rule, it is basically the idea that your shutter speed has to be at least double your frame rate and this is gonna give you a motion blur kind of look. To break it down, let's say you're shooting at 24 frames per second in video mode, of course. Your shutter speed has to be at least one over 50, which doesn't exist, so your shutter speed is gonna lay at one over 60. If you're shooting at 60 frames per second, your shutter speed has to be at least one over 120, which also doesn't exist, so it's gonna be one over 125. So I'm gonna give you guys some examples of what this looks like so you can kind of understand where I'm coming from. So this shot here was shot at one over 125th, shutter speed at 60 frames per second. Now you can see my hand moving has a little bit of motion blur to it. It's not to the sharpest. You can't like stop the frame and see it perfectly sharp. That is what it's gonna give you. It's gonna give you a, a slower feeling, more soft looking image that had a little bit of motion blur to it. And that's gonna give you a more cinematic kind of feel, that cinematic kind of vibe. When you break this the right way, you're gonna get a super sharp, very jittery, actually packed looking image. So as you can see, this clip here was shot at 1,250th of a second at that shutter speed. You can see that it's super jittery, super sharp, and the movements are really like in your face. You can kind of feel it. It kind of gets you in like an intense motion. Now, if you break it the opposite way, which is the wrong way, this image here was shot at 1 over 60th at 60 frames per second. You can see that this isn't double my frame rate, but you can see that there is a lot more motion blur and you know, maybe not as much noticeable, but you can see. But the problem with this is if you break it the wrong way and you try to slow it down, you're gonna get a really choppy image. Now you may not be able to see in this one, but let me give an example of something that's super choppy. You can see that it isn't the smoothest slow motion. So if you plan on using slow motion at all, make sure it is at least double your frame rate. It's just the way it works. Now let me give you another example of the jittery look and the intense feel compared to the motion blur look. I'm gonna put the two next to each other and you're gonna see me kind of punching the air because you know I'm super angry and ready to fight somebody in the middle of the air. The shot on the right was shot at the 1,250th of a second shutter speed, and the one on the left is shot at 125th of a second shutter speed. So you can see that the one on the left has a lot more motion blur. It's not as sharp, not as intense. It's kind of cinematic and it's very smooth. But the one on the right is super intense. You can feel it's kind of jittery. The movements are really intense, super sharp looking. And you can see, when it comes down to it, you can see that this is all preference. Like this rule exists, but in the end of the day, it's definitely preference. So if you're shooting like an action scene or you want something super sharp looking, you're gonna wanna stray away from the 180 degree shutter rule and go higher. When it comes down to the 180 degree shutter rule, I like to say at least. Your shutter speed should be at least double your frame rate because if it's not and you plan on using slow motion, it's not gonna work out. But if you go like, triple or quadruple or you know like 10 times your frame rate that's completely okay because it creates a whole new look i've done it where i was on a job and i was working with a second shooter or actually he was a primary shooter i was a second shooter i basically taught him that you can shoot not just double the frame rate and it's still going to give you an amazing look especially if you slow it down so when he was doing that slow motion he came to me and he texted me he was like dude Thank you for teaching me this because my shots look so much sharper. We were doing real estate shoots. He, he was getting these shots of the house at like triple or quadruple the frame rate amount in shutter speed value. And he was like, these shots are crazy sharp. Thank you for teaching me this. I'm gonna use this so much. So it's definitely preference. What do you wanna go for? Do you wanna go for that cinematic look? Do you wanna go for that super sharp, jittery look? Because when it comes down to it, I like to, I like to think about it. Like if I'm slowing down this super high intensity, jittery, but super sharp look, the slow motion isn't gonna give it a jittery, intense look. It's gonna give it super sharp, very still cinematic because it's in slow motion. The slow motion is gonna give it kind of like a very soft feeling, but you're gonna get these sharp, crisp images. Honestly, the 180 degree shutter rule is a minimum. Don't think of it as something you have to meet, but that it should be the minimum of what you're shooting at. So let's say you're shooting at 24, at least, 
one over 50th, then 60 at least one over 20, not you have to have it at this point. So let me correct that for everybody that thinks that you have to do it. That is the bare minimum. Don't go below it, but at least be at that point. That's all for the video. And remember that this is something, just something like preference to me also. If you decide that you need to meet it, you can meet it. To me, I believe it's in that least value. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know what you guys wanna see in the next video. And did you guys know what this rule was before this video? It's pretty popular, pretty common rule that a lot of people talk about. But yeah, anyways. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much. Have an amazing day, morning, night, wherever you're watching from. And I'll see you then. Peace.